A certain Jew from Morocco once found himself in tough economic times. As much as it pained him, he felt that he had to leave his hometown and his family in order to seek a place of better work opportunity and hopefully, after time, amass enough money to come back and provide for his family. He was gone months, months soon came into half a year and finally he had enough money to go home. He started on the long trip home and he realized he wasn't going to make it before the Sabbath. So he looked on the map and he realized that he had an old dear friend not so far from him in the town of Sali. He went there hoping his friend was take him in and of course his friend was so happy to see him and was happy to have him as a guest. They sat outside on the Friday afternoon, told old stories, had a few drinks. And as they watched the sun slowly creep down lower and lower, they realized they needed to get ready for the Sabbath. The man looked at his host and he said, Hey, do you mind watching over my money, my purse, over the Sabbath and then returning it to me after the Sabbath so I can head home and, you know, go see my family? The man said, Are you kidding me? I would, I would be glad to. After the Shabbos, he went to his host and he said, Thank you so much, but uh, I'm ready to hit the road. Do you think I can get that money back? The host looked at him completely bewildered. What money are you talking about? He said, Don't you remember I entrusted before the Shabbos my, my purse to you? The man looked at him, I don't know, what are you saying? He said, have you no shame? I have you in my home as a guest and now you accuse me of taking your money. I don't know what money you're talking about. He couldn't believe what he was hearing, his old dear friend doing this to him. He said he realized he had no other choice but to take it to a Jewish court. And the two men went and at the time the rabbi presiding over the court was the holy Orachaim, known by the name Rabbi Chaim Ibn Atar. The two men sat there before the rabbi as the poor man told his whole woeful story. The rabbi listened and then turned to the friend and he says, Well, he claims that he entrusted money to you. Can you verify this story? The man says, I don't know what he's talking about. The Orachim turned back to the poor man. He said, Hey, was there by chance any a witness at this uh, transaction? The poor man stooped down and lowered his eyes and he said, I'm afraid not. He said, What about a tree? Was there even a tree? Some kind of witness? A tree? He said, yeah, there was a tree. We were sitting outside, there was a tree. So the Orachim said, please summon that tree to be a witness in the space in this court. I mean, the guy obviously was shocked at the words of the rabbi, but who was he to question this miracle worker? So he got up and he left. The two men sat, the rabbi and his friend who had hosted him. And after a few moments, the rabbi looked up at the man and he said, Don't worry, I'm sure by now he's at the tree. It shouldn't be long before he gets back. The man looked at the holy rabbi and he said, Rabbi, with respect, that tree was really far away. I don't think he's going to be back for a while. The Orachim looked at him with piercing eyes. Return that money now. The Orachim stroked his beard. He said, If this transaction didn't occur and the whole event was just made up, and how is it that you know how far that tree is and what tree he's talking about? The man quickly admitted that he had wronged his friend and returned the money to him. As yesterday was the day of the passing of the Holy Orachayim, may we be meritorious that to connect to him, to connect to all Tzadikim, and that, God willing, we should merit soon see a time filled with peace, and a time that is fully Shabbos, complete Shabbos. Amen.